Let us listen to Shimataji's speech. It's a another great pleasure to come to America to meet you all people here. This one, as I have told you, is a very important country in the field of spirituality. Not because it's a large country or because it is uh, very prosperous, but because, as you know, it is the Vishuddhi in the plan of Virat. Vishuddhi is such an important chakra. It has a very great manifestation also. For example, it has another, you can say, a subsidiary chakra, which we call as Hamsa chakra. And the star 
which is influencing this center, or we say the, the star that decides on which the center is working is Saturn. And as you know, with Saturn there is a, another small little Saturn moving. In the same way, with this Vishuddhi Chakra, there is another one which is a very important chakra, which we call as Hamsa Chakra. We have had a puja of Hamsa Chakra in Germany once. And it has acted, I think, because Germans have realized that whatever they have done so far was absolutely inhuman. And I was so happy to see that when I went to Russia, the people who came to give them realization were mostly Germans. It really makes you feel so tender about the whole thing, that the Germans felt it, it is important. I mean, it, they were the ones who were attracted to come to Russia, to give realization to Russians. And you must know that the number of Russians killed are the maximum in the world, in this war, by Germans. So the discretion, the divine discretion that manifests through your Hamsa Chakra first started in Germany. And now you see how East Germany is entering into German territory, West Germany, and how they are welcoming them, looking after them, And who did was all these things was see, few sajogis who triggered it. So in those countries where there has been tremendous war problem and the hazards and they had to go through hell, even Germans had to suffer a lot because of Hitler's uh, misguidance. They have known hardships, they have known sacrifices, they have known all kinds of ordeals they had to go through. But somehow this country has been blessed to such an extent that Americans never realized what is it that is hardship. And the blessings really have spoiled them. Hardships have been in all these countries which we call as Eastern Bloc. And Sahaja Yoga is spreading like wildfire in all these Eastern Bloc countries, where they have been completely under the rule of Russians, we can say, or under the rule of terror. And the same terror has acted in Russia throughout. In that terror, in that fear, it is surprising how this wisdom has grown in all these people, much more than in countries where we have the greatest affluence, the greatest uh, uh, comfort of life. The hardship has taught them the fear has taught them to be wise. And the best part is the discretion. Now, this being Shri Krishna's country is, he, because he's Kubera, he's the god of wealth. The country is wealthy, no doubt. But the other part of Shri Krishna is completely missing is the Divine Discretion. 
how his divine discretion is shown even in mahabharata is wonderful to see how he managed the pandavas to win the war through his divine discretion because they were dharmic they were standing in dharma and how he supported the pandavas because they were dharmic but just the opposite is the situation of his america that america always supports wrong people and it has no principle of righteousness or principle of its own freedom for example to support something like argentina or peru where there's complete dictatorship I have been there. I know what it is like. At the time when it was under the regime of these people, and that's what has happened to the people of this country. They have no divine discretion at all, and that's why I think all the false gurus have come and settled here because they know these people have no divine discretion. the hansa chakra is so weak here that they cannot see what is dharma and what is adharma also the basic principle that which this country became democratic was that this government is for the people of the people by the people so it has to be people oriented but democracy at this stage without realization cannot work out it's obvious It's few people who were cunning who could make money became money oriented they could advertise better they could uh manipulate better than other people who were crooks also making money like that through drugs through other things by other means they could come up they were elected and they are in charge so it is not people oriented but it is only money oriented democracy and maybe if it goes on like this you will find we might get some horrible crooks as rulers in this country because the one who can make money the one who has lots of money by hook or crook whosoever may be can win over elections and can become our ruler here so the democracy that was started or was spelled out by abraham lincoln is no more there it's a money oriented thing and it has generated such a bad atmosphere all over the world that in the whole world now the conservatives the people who think they are conservatives who are money oriented people who don't care for people at all how are becoming the leaders everywhere so to be people oriented one had to first of all understand that you have to have your realization otherwise you do not become a collective being if you do not become the collective being you cannot enjoy the beautiful virtue of generosity and when you do not have that generosity then you become a person 
of a very small mind and a small heart. And the crookedness works everywhere. Outside they are very sweet to talk, but inside don't know how what they will do, how they will deceive. In this kind of atmosphere we are, well, you know, in Russia we have done so well. In Russia people were just waiting for a mother to come, that's all. They are mother worshippers to begin with. And they were wanting somebody just to love them, every one of them, to tell them about love. Because they felt they were never loved by their government. Here also nobody is loved. But the pattern of the government there and the pattern of the people are two different ends. The government people are very, you can call them very dominating, extremely strict and exploiting time. But the people are the exploited ones. But here the pattern of the government is taken over by people. As the government is exploiting people, people are also exploiting each other as much as they can exploit. Very good. After all, money is the end of it. That's why I used to think, why in America Sahaja Yoga is failing? All kinds of thugs have come here, they have made lots of money, they have, I mean, they all are thrown out and so many are to be thrown out, is all right. But as far as Sahaja Yoga message is concerned, People cannot absorb it. So now for Sahaja Yogis it is very important to become really very deep Sahaja Yogis, very, very deep, so that we can trigger better. Even if there are two Sahaja Yogis who are very deep, one can trigger a lot. Like you'll be surprised in Hungary, people were saying in the beginning, Mother, what about Hungary? It should become free. I said, let there be one Sahaja Yogi to come in. Only one fellow came in, absolutely sick, very thin and worn out fellow. I treated him, I cured him. And with love he got nourishment. And within eight days after his realization, we went back and after a week Hungary got its freedom. Though we are few in here, we all have to be very conscious of it, that we are the foundation and if we fail, we'll fail our country. And we have to be very deep, sensible surgeries. So what problems do we face here? First is, I have told hundred times, that you have to open your heart. That's such an important thing for all surgeries to open their heart. Look into your hearts. What do you want? Not through rationality, but through vibrations. What do you want? You ask yourself, what do I want? Then say a few words. I want money, vibrations won't flow. I want this, that, vibrations won't flow. Then what do you want? I want to be a deep surgery, very deep, so I could save my country. If Americans will go to hell, you will be held responsible for that. Nobody else. You need very few people to trigger it, I tell you. But we still 
stick on to our past. Problems and problems of America are very different type all the time. First is aggressiveness. How we, what is in aggressiveness? Loving someone, being kind to someone, should be so natural because that is what your spirit is. It loves, it enjoys the love, giving love. So to allow your spirit to manifest, you have to understand its nature. Spirit can never be aggressive, can never dominate. It respects the freedom of another person because it's a free being. So this aggressiveness that we have within us, we have to really challenge it and ask, why are we aggressive? But the, <coughs> the understanding about oneself has to be very honest also. Because if you want to justify and if you want to close your eyes to reality, then you cannot improve yourself. And when the depth grows inside you, then it is tremendous idea. Because this power which is surrounding us, which you know about, which you have felt it, has to flow through a medium which is absolutely clean, egoless, conditionless. But we are so much conditioned. And in this so-called free country, this freedom has conditioned us. It's like a person who is let loose, doesn't know where to go, he banks his head this side, banks his head that side, banks his head that side. And the problems are so funny. Problems which do not exist anywhere exist in this country. You know them very well. With such shocking state that when we think about it, what's going to happen? Where are we going to be? So we are really on a war path in America, I must tell you, for Sahaja Yogis. Really on a war path, unless and until you take up Sahaja Yoga as your only concern is not going to work. We had problems like somebody has no job, then somebody has this, uh, he's lost something here, then husband-wife's problem and all these nonsensical things. Still people are struggling with that. How many times have you been married in previous lives? Then the, somebody's wife is dominating, somebody's husband is dominating, such absurd things. Doesn't behove saints. So the quality of Sahaja Yogis in America, unless Renti is raised, one cannot trigger anything here. And the first thing that the Sahaja Yogis must have is collectivity in America, because America stands for Vishuddhi Chakra, which is manifesting collectivity within us. And if people cannot be collective, then how can you have Sahaja Yoga manifesting here? Impossible. Because that is the greatest quality you have. That's the basic power you have in this country, is the collectivity within you. So you have two basic powers. First is collectivity, and the second one that you have 
is a divine discretion. Basically given to you these powers. And just the opposite if you go. I've heard about many uh, surgeries who avoid company of children, who run away from other people. If they see three, four people sitting there, then they can't share the room with them. It's very common. Right. Say now, supposing there's a very small little room, and so many have to sleep in a small little room. It's nice, in a way. It's an experience. Then where do you sleep? You sleep there, you sleep there. How do you manage? You can't go to the bathroom. And it's an event. The life which is smooth is boring. <laughs> there should be some events in life, you see, like this. But Americans always avoid any, any such thing which requires an eventful time. Otherwise, if you walk straight forward, you see, reach some place, open the door and everything is ready-made, you walk into your room, everything electrified and you just get your seat, you sit on the seat, if you have to get up, the seat pulls you out. <laughs> or I went to somebody's house and they said, we have a bed here. I said, what's so special? He said, if you press this button, your legs will come up. <laughs> you press this button, your head will come up. You turn round. I said, I can do all that myself. <laughs> I am not that old or that weak that I can't do it. But you see, the, the way people are always looking for comfort, always looking for comfort, and like to have smooth life. And this smoothness has made them so boring. I mean, their life is really boring. And a person who has a boring life cannot have a vision, cannot. Everything is done up now. You go there, everything is first class, there's nothing to worry. You see, you go to a hotel, everything is paid for, nicely kept, it's a very good hotel. But only when in a hotel you are staying and suddenly you, people tell you, oh, there's going to be an earthquake. You run out with your pajamas and uh, you find yourself in funny companies and that's what you remember. <laughs> you may go to various places and live in various comforts and things, you don't remember that. So people now want to do something funny, like they'll do trekking up, doing this and all those funny sort of thing. Because the life is not eventful, they are trying something that is dangerous, that is destroying. But supposing if you had accepted events in life as important, what does it matter? Let's see what happens.
Yes, ma'am. 